Hello everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics and it's feeding day. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna feed all the snakes today. We're gonna to hopefully get them feeding so then they can be ready for sale, which is quite good. So we're gonna go around, we're gonna do the feeding. I've also, a man of me word, I brought the tank in that's been in storage for ages to do for the uh, mossy frog. So we've got that to do today. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring that bell for me and I shall see you in a bit. Do the chameleons first. I've already chucked some in for the male. So, uh, he's eating in secret, oh, I'm in the dark. He's been eating in secret lately. So, I'll put some in there for him. He goes around and eats the worms when he feels like it. Uh, we can feed the female, because she still strikes at locust for us. Hello, my lovely. How are you this fine morning? Would you like a locust? She missed. Um. He's a good girl, eh? A little look at the mossy frog because he's spied a man in at the minute. What are you doing, buddy? You trying to hang on? You put some weight on, which is nice. He's trying to hang on. He can't do it. <laughs> I don't know. But we'll get his tank set up today and we'll make it really cool for him. That's the plan anyway. i can show you what went wrong with this build really. So, um, one, I made the drainage layer too thick so the water wouldn't drain quick enough. Um, two, I put a big pump in there that had a filter in it which kept getting blocked. Um, and we had just had that much dirt go in there, it just messed everything up. Um, so I'll show you why and how and stuff like that and then we'll rip it all apart and start again. The first time I'd used the filter floss and I thought it wasn't going to be very good. So I folded it up and made layers which actually it's quite good at filtering. So uh, it stopped and kept all the water up here. So then I decided to make places for drainage and stuff like that but it just let in dirt like no man's business. So uh, we had a bit of a mare with it. But we're gonna learn from our mistakes, make it better, and completely start again. So this one's been in storage for uh, well now five months. So there's nothing in it. Don't worry. The uh, we sold the green anoles before we before we moved. But um, yep. So that's the plan for today. We'll give it a once over and see how we get on. Got most of the court bark and all that stuff out there. I've still got this big plant. It's half dead, half alive. So. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. It is going to come out for now. Um, but I might try and trim all the dead off it and see if we can salvage it. But we've got to get all this out. Whoa. So let's try and get out the plant and salvage what we can salvage and stuff like that. So. Oh, she's rooted in. Come in. Now we've got a bit more room, a bit more empty. So I can give it a good scrub now, get a load of the dirt out, and we can start starting afresh. Now you can see what I did to try and increase the flow. I put a hole in the bio drain to try and get it through, but that just backfired on me. And then I tried to do a back drain over here with a pipe just to let the water go straight down into it, but that backfired as well. So, uh, filter floss, very hard to use. I prefer the mesh, 10 times easier. As you can see, when it works, it does keep a good job at keeping it clean. But when it fails, it does make a mess but I made the mistake of making it really thick. So that's folded, so that's one, two, three, four layers thick, it's too thick. See where the, pop, the pump used to be? Well, it still is. Um, so we're gonna clean all that, decide what we're gonna do, and 
just carry on making what we can salvage. So I've still got loads of cleaning to do, so we'll start, keep on ripping it apart. There we go. Looks a bit different now, doesn't it? <laughs> so she had a full deep clean, full deep clean. So there we go. She's not completely spotless, but she's done a good job. We're doing a good job. So I've got all the stuff down there. So you've got the old filter and all that, the tissues I've used and stuff like that. So I've got to throw all this away now. Clean what I've got to clean, what we're going to use again, uh, and then see what we can salvage. And then we rebuild it. What I'm thinking of doing is doing an angled bank, maybe, and having a big water area for him. So, because uh, they do like the water. So that could be a plan for us today. So we're going to start by sorting out some of the stuff that we're going to salvage, and then uh, we'll start rebuilding. We've got the basics rebuilt back in now. So I've put the back back in nice and clean. I've put the pump in, but I've changed where I had it. I had it at the front before, I put it at the back now, and I've changed the pipe work, so I'll show you. Before, I had it coming straight up. But now I've got, it, got a slow curve to it because it was kinking, the pipe was, the, kink, the old kinks there. So now there's a lot more flow in the pipe and I shouldn't get as many, shouldn't jam up as much. And now we're just slowly adding the bio balls. I'll give them a good wash, a good clean. There we go. And I'll just keep doing that till I fill up a nice level. Okay, that's how far I've got with the bio balls and that's the angle I've done. So we should have a water area and then we'll have the bit with all this on. So I've got my bio drain, it's the mesh. So we get that out now, I'll put it on top, and then we'll start, I might put a capping layer of stones, I'm not sure yet, we'll see how we get on. Tank is a 30 by 30, the bottom, by 90 I believe it is. Uh, so we've got a 30 by 30 bottom, which is perfect, the mini, we've got the Exoterra one. It's a really nice one it is. So, you can put it all out like that. And then we'll have, a, we'll have it stick up the back and we'll hide that with substrate because we don't want it down here because that's where our uh, rocks are going to go. Like so. This is our layer of capping stones. And what I'm going to do now is put our first barrier in. So what this is going to do is it's going to hold our dirt back from our water area. So that there now, we'll hold all our dirt back. I might bring it a bit more forward. Like so, and we can fill all that up now. And then that can be where our plants and that live. And then that can be our water area. Had a little bit of a lip there where the mesh came up and I didn't want soil going down it. So I've added some more stones just to fill up that last bit. So uh, we don't have any, anything seeping down the back. And now we can start putting our first layer of some substrate in. Good point though, to maybe add some water and test our pump and see if it's going to work. It's probably a good point to test that. Um, but I can't remember if I've left this at home, the plug, or I've got it here. So I'm going to have to have a rummage through the stuff, see if I've got it, and then we'll give it a try. So I found a plug that fits it. I don't know if it's going to work, but we're going to give it a go. So we're going to see, just do a little test. See if we can get any flow out of that pond. Whee! That's working. Sorry. <laughs> Whee! So we might have to adjust it a little bit to sort out the flow. But it works, which is the main thing. So we might have to sort some way of it to get it to go down into here. Getting a lot of splash back from it hitting the logs. So what we've done is I'm still getting a little bit, but I've got it going into another log. So I'll give you a better look. So out of that one, into that one, and then that one lowers it down nice. I am getting a little bit of splatter, so I need to try and get the flow to come a bit more uniform out of here. But that's something we can work on. But it's going, which is pretty damn cool. We've got the dirt layer in now. So we've got a little bit of splatter on there, but that's not the end of the world. 
So uh, we're going to start now by putting a little bit more substrate up there, planting some plants, doing some moss, and I'll show you when I'm nearly finished. It took me a couple of hours, but I finally got it finished. I think it looks pretty good. I think we're ready to put the frog in. So uh, let me know what you think. Pretty cool. I think it looks pretty cool to me. I'll give you a proper look. So we start off, we've got our bio balls, then we've got our mesh, then we've got our uh, capping layer. Then I've left this now, let that be our little water level. And then I've raised up this area, done a little supporting wall, done some soil, built it up. We've got our plants, we've got our moss, we've got our waterfall coming back round, dropping down into the collection pot because it was hitting there and splashing everywhere. So uh, that's controlling our water lovely. There's a little bit of dribble going around watering the plants, which is quite good, keeping our moss humid. So, I think we're ready to catch ourselves a frog and put him into his new enclosure. Here he is, we've got to try and get him in the tub. He's not going to want to come in the tub, but we've got to try and get him in the tub. Come on. No, he's not going to come off. We're going to have to grab him. That gets the oils off my hands so I don't hurt him. Come on, buddy. Let go. There he is. Can you get a bit of focus on you? Oh, there he is, Mr. Mussy Frog. Very hard to focus on, the camera doesn't like it. Wow. You ready to go in then, buddy? Where do you want to go? Look at all your new stuff. We do, we put you down there. What do you think, on the moss? Oh, he's gone in, he's gone in, he's gone down there. Look at his belly. He's got big suction cup toes. So you can see he's got a bit of weight on him, so he's got a bit of a belly. So we'll just leave him for now, he's in the tank, that's the main thing. And I'll move the tank tomorrow, I'll leave it where it is for now. And we'll let him sort himself out. We'll check on him in a sec, see what he's been doing. But we got him in the tank. Now it's feeding time. So we're gonna start defrosting all the food, get it all ready, and then we'll feed the, we've only got the, we've got the banana, We've got the spotted to feed, we've got the Pac-Man frogs, um, and then we go up, we've got baby Snappy, um, and then we got a Snappy to feed at home as well. I have a little treat for you today. If you like my little wabby jars, which my mate uh, Dean makes, um, he's brought some in for us to sell for the shop. So um, I'll show you what they are, and if you like them, you can come in and get them. There's the big one he's made. Quite cool with the jar. And then he's got a nice little, little one, it's got a little path. It's got a little pathway. Really quite cool. All they need is a spray once a month, that's all they need. Cool little things for us to try. Here I have our gargoyle gecko. And we're going to try and give him a little bit of a feed. See if he's going to behave himself and have a feed. He usually jumps around like mad, but we're going to see if he's going to have his feed. Bop! We caught him, we caught him. He's a little bit naughty, he's having a wee. He's having a wee, he's naughty. He's naughty, he's having a wee. <laughs> Look at that, buddy. It's your food. It's your food. No jumpies. No jumpies. Calm down. He's a naughty boy. He's naughty. Now, eat your food. No, no jumpies. No jumpies. <laughs> You're a naughty boy. Stay there. I've got to put some on your nose. It's 
See, that's what we wanted. He's such an impatient. Oh, licky, licky out. You need to lick the camera. You need to lick the camera. He's such a cool little boy. Such a cool lad. No jumpers. Come on, buddy. Have you had enough? I think he's had enough. He's naughty, but he will eat when he wants to. No? Come here then. Oh, what was that? I got more. I got more. You don't have to go crazy. There's a good boy. Licking it all up. Yummy, yummy, yummy. He's naughty at times, but he is a good boy, really. Be the first snake. We're going uh, banana pastel royal python first. Hi, darling. Do you like a mouse? You missed. You missed, darling. Oh, see if she comes back in a sec. A little bit. That was a scared scrike. That was. So I'll leave her for a little bit. We'll try again in a sec. We we'll go with the uh, spotted granite. Granite spotted python now. She is back down in this corner. Hello, darling. What have I got? Can you see her head? She's moving, so she's interested. Put it there for now. We'll do a bit of a zoom. She's moving, but I don't know where her head is. Where's your head, darling? She's moving, but I don't know where she's going. Come on, darling. I don't know, I don't know where, oh, there's a red. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. She's got it. And she can slowly drag it down. Can we get a little glimpse of her? She's dragging it down, is it stuck? Oh, she's got it, she's got it. There she goes. So she'll eat that now and be happy as Larry, which is great news. So first feed. Mr. Albino Pac-Man to do next. Would you like a pinky, sir? You said no the last couple of times, mate. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Try and wind him up a little bit. Come on. Bite it. Bite it. No. Come on, mate. Your mate's been feeding. No, not today. Come on, mate. Oh. Other one has proper buried himself. There he is. So I'm going to show him a pinky. Oh, he's got it, he's got it. He's bit the leg. He's a good lad. Give him a spray as well. You're all in the dirt. There we go. 
he's got it there. What a good lad. Hopefully his mate eats soon as well. Should we give her another go? not this time but if you remember she didn't eat first time last week she ate on the Monday instead <laughs> so we're, we're trying again on the Monday and she'll probably feed on Monday instead like she did last week please turn next we we'll give snappy a feed he's going mental as always because he's ready for feeding so see if he wants all the extra ones what have I got for you look how long your neck is snappy <laughs> you didn't spot that for a sec, did you, buddy? Well, it's a proper meal for you, that is, isn't it? We'll let him eat that one and we we'll see if he wants some pinkies. I mean, I've, got, I've got one pinky left and the other ones are for the south fin. So once he's had that, if he wants another one, we'll give him another one. And then uh, he should be okay then. But he'll, uh, he'll chuck, bite it on it, crunch it up, and then he'll uh, swallow it whole. So he's just crushing it all up, making it all nice and soft for him, so it's easier for him to digest. And then uh, he'll just wolf it down whole then. Look a good boy. That now, do you want that one? Yes, he does. What a bloke. What a bloke. You want to give him his treat for the week? What are you doing? You forgot it. What about it? You forgot to come and get it. What? He's been. He didn't even notice it. What's wrong with you today, mate? Didn't last long, though, did it? One of one. Oh, we're good. They're wasting them. Whoa! <laughs> He doesn't like you looking at him, he doesn't. Look at his big belly. He's doing well now. He did have a whole box of locusts yesterday, so that's probably why he's not hungry. We're out chasing a monk jack at the moment. We just want to make sure he gets back safe. So he's just gone into someone's garden. Oh, I don't know. Things we do as the animal, man. He's just gone into here. He's gone all the way through. I direct him now. He's in the bushes. Come on, mate, you okay? Try and get him to go back that way. The fields are just there. We've only got to get him another couple of yards and he's in and he'll be all right. There he is. Come on, mate, that way. Off he goes, nearly there, nearly. He should go across the road now. There he is. Freedom. We did it. Got him back. Oh, the amount of cars that we had queued up behind us. Oh, I didn't even lock the shop. So, I'll tell you the story. I'm sat there, just sorting out the video, doing a bit of editing and stuff like that, just coming towards the end of the day. Oh, you hear smash. And something's gone just flat out into the windows. And I've gone, what's that? I've come outside, and there's a bloke sat in his car, and he said a deer has just run flat out into my windows trying to get into the shop and then I've caught it round there and of course we're right boys in fields so I've managed to herd him back that way I don't know if there's any marks on the windows where he's it but he's proper clobbered my door yeah there he is there's all deer hair on my door there you go deer hair that's where he smashed into my door trying to get into my shop I don't know 
everybody with helping the deer out today i've run out of time so we'll we, we do snappy another day so please like subscribe comment and share ring the bell and i shall uh, if you want to watch another video the video should be one there if you want to subscribe to the channel it's up there and if you want to watch a playlist it's up there so i'll see you in the future bye